Hey, um, yeah, a very short video about how you can uh, use uh, parameters uh, within a MEP element, for example, uh, in a system family here in Revit. Um, yeah, so for example, we have width and height here, or the size uh, values, and uh, now you want to use or you want to calculate something based on uh, these dimensions, um, or you just want to read out these dimensions into with a specific formula. So um, what you can do here is that you go to the schedules, right click and create a new schedule. And uh, that should be in my example here, duct schedules. So I select the ducts here, go OK. And uh, yeah, so what I need at least is um, the values that I want to calculate with. So, uh, for example, in my uh, case here, I want to have height and width. And um, yeah, maybe it's also good to have uh, the type of duct also in there. Maybe bring that up to the front. Um, but what I also want to see now in my schedule is a calculated value or value with a formula that reads out um, the height or the width depending on uh, which uh, value is higher. So we can do that here with calculated parameter. So I call that one um, maybe max size. That is a formula. Um, it needs to be a length because height and width is common length type. And the formula should be just an if formula if width is bigger than uh, the height, then we want to see the width. Other than that, we want to see uh, the height. That's it. Go OK. Now we have the max size in there. Go OK. And we should see our schedule in a second. So this is the, uh, the type of duct that we used. Um, but most important is that we have the height value, then we have the width value, and here in the max size column we always get the higher value. So for example that one here um, is wider than higher, so we have 450, uh, but here in that example we have uh, a duct that is higher than wide, so uh, we have the 400 value in there.